Thank you for staying with us right here on GH1 TV. There's that very, very, very important conversation coming up in a short while concerning UT and Capital Banks. So yesterday, uh, they were, they were, all the staff were giving letters basically saying that your contract of em employment has been terminated. What are their rights? Uh, we'll be having a conversation with Labor and Alternative Dispute Res uh, Resolution Consultant Austin Gamme in a short while. So stay with us on that and send us all your questions to WhatsApp 0288-500-600. But uh, ahead of that, I've got a very interesting conversation with a young woman going places. Um, if you watch GH1 TV between 4.30 and 5 on Tuesdays in the evenings, you see a show there hosted by this particular lady and uh, she is um, being uh, nominated for some interesting awards i'll let her speak for herself uh, and you know Makwanda, good morning and welcome to the show good morning it's good, it's, to, it's good to have you here yeah, yeah you know i've been praying for one of those days to meet you and it's happened you see live and direct yeah. and so for those who don't watch your show tell us about your show and why they should watch it all right so these trends is uh a business program 30 minutes it's not the straight jacket kind of business program that you know those business show hosts bring analysts they talk about um, investment they talk about this uh, go to the um, how do you call it stock market and all that we what we do on these trends is to bring entrepreneurs who are going through the hard times the difficult challenges we are having currently mm -hmm. to establish businesses that are doing so well so we bring them on board Ask them, because if you want to start a business, what inspired you to go into that line of business? What are some of the risks that if I am watching or listening to you, what should I learn or what should I be expecting if I should also go into your line of business? Mm -hmm. What are the capital uh, I'm looking at to start that business with? And uh, who should be my target? So I speak to you and then Kofi watching you back home gets to know that, yeah, I'm also looking forward to going into real estate. This is what I need to know before venturing into real estate. So these trends is, is a business program that does not go into the straight jacket kind of business talk, mm. but we lighten it up, make it basic for everybody to know that if you want to venture into real estate, if you want to venture into restaurant, hotel, this is what you need to know before you go into that. Okay, so a business show with a twist. Exactly. And what was the inspiration behind this concept? Okay, so uh, myself and my partner, my husband, we were watching TV, as usual, watching this business program, and the discussion that was ongoing, it was interesting. However, the terms being used there was too much for us to just understand. So we're like, okay, so why don't we come down to the level that people can understand and then pick up something from the discussion. So we created this platform for SMEs and the blue chip CEOs who can then blend. Mm -hmm. So when a blue chip CEO, that big multinational CEO comes on board. So you can see just yesterday, I interviewed the CEO of Maslow. He is into the financial institution. They support the SMEs. So I brought him to enlighten uh, viewers on what they do, why you should come to them. And then I'll bring on board an SME CEO who will also come and say, okay, this is my business. This is what I do. These are my targets, but these are my challenges. Then maybe be someone who is a stakeholder or someone who can solve that problem finds a way to go about it so okay. that was what the concept came about Fantastic. after watching somebody's business talk they were like why don't we turn it around yeah, take something basic. and then twist it exactly. what, what's been, been the experience so far with this trends uh, it's not been easy an independent production you know uh, going to shoot I mean it's not been easy, but all thanks to corporate institutions who have come on board mm -hmm. to support us. And, and the journey, uh, we are still praying to God. We are learning and we keep growing up. You know, we're looking forward for a platform that we can associate ourselves with, that we can grow than where we were before. And, you know, God being so good, we moved to uh, GH1. It's not been too long, but Youth Business Network already have seen what we are doing and they want to recognize us and tap our back and say you're doing good continue doing what you're doing yes and we are glad that you're here with us because hey you've been nominated for an award yeah tell me about this award all right so yea awards young entrepreneur awards is an award that has been established to recognize and identify and award young people who are defying the harsh uh, times to create businesses and also uh, create job opportunities for others. Now, our, our category is the SME support platform. And you can't imagine who we are competing with, some big wings like CTFM and others. So 
our platform is... You can always be a David, you know. You see? Yeah. <laughs> so our platform is the SME support platform. Mm -hmm. And what they're saying is that um, a lot of SMEs are there doing their businesses, but they can't reach the masses. However, thanks to your platform, they are able to come on board okay. and sell to the masses and enlighten others why they should also try and do something for themselves. Mm. So uh, when we receive the um, information that, hey, these trends have been nominated for YEA awards, we were so happy. And this is done uh, in collaboration with the National Board for Small Scale Industries, Ministry of uh, Employment, Labor Relations, and uh, GIPC. So all those people together with the Youth Business Network Foundation, they put together this award to recognize and uh, say thank you for what you're doing, continue to do more. And that is what the award is about. So and congratulations. Is I mean, the nomination edition. is even just a, a yeah. great step. I mean, the people you are rolling with. Exactly. Yeah, you've arrived big time. You see. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Listen, very you know, what will be your final words? Is there anything else you want to say concerning um, your show, concerning uh, people who have a business idea that they, they want to take inspiration from about the awards? Anything you want to say? Finally? Yeah, so what I want to say, to be an entrepreneur, mm. a successful one for that matter, mm. it's not easy. It, it, it comes with a lot. You have to learn who are your target. Uh, your branding wise, your marketing, your communications, your customer service, everything has to be on point. And also, where to start your business is another problem. Mm. And the thing is, don't wait for, I want to have my office, I want to have a huge capital to start my business. It doesn't work like that. Mark Wonder Media Network, we don't have a huge office, neither do we have a big studio. But hey, we are still shooting every now and then, mm. and we are still paying for airtime. And showing this, we haven't reaped uh, uh, benefit yet. So don't go into business thinking if I should start in a month or two, I'm going to get my profit. It doesn't work like that. You might get disappointed. And that is what these trends is doing. Okay. We tell you, if you want to go into this, don't expect that two, three months later, mm -hmm. I'll reap my um, investment. Okay. It takes time. Okay. So if you want to vote for these trends, just log on to www.yeawards.com. Mm -hmm. www.yeawards.com and select SME platform. SME platform and vote for Beast Trends. It's happening next month in uh, October mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be there and we'll carry our words and bring it to Junior one again. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank and your you. Nam McWonder is the host of Beast Trends uh, yeah. on GH1 TV Tuesdays, 4 30 uh, p.m. Vote for her, let her win, and yeah. we'll come have a conversation again. Exactly. Thank you so much. Have thank a great so day. Much. And when I return, I'm going to have that conversation concerning the UT and the Capital Bank liquidation and what the rights are of uh, ex-employees. Stay with us.